A teenager is killed at a party in downtown St. Louis over the weekend. Eight others were injured by gunfire. One girl was trampled and another teenager is in custody this morning. Fox News' Laura Simon live in downtown St. Louis with the latest on this investigation and the city leaders calling for change after this Father's Day tragedy. Laura. Blair and John, a lot to break down for you guys, but we'll get right to the nuts and bolts of what happened just over the weekend early on Father's Day morning. So on the fifth floor of this building here on 1409 Washington Avenue, it's an office space and apparently a large group of teenagers were throwing a party in there. It ended with multiple gunshots fire and ultimately left 17 year old Mikhail Moore dead. In addition to the 17 year old who died, there are several other victims all under the age of 20. And we want to show you some video because police were actually feet away from this building patrolling traffic in the area when they saw a bunch of young people running for their lives. In addition to 17 year old Mikhail Moore killed two 19 year olds and 18 year old, a 17 year old, three 16 year olds and two 15 year olds were also shot. And we're also learning a 17 year old girl was possibly trampled running down the stairs trying to get away from the gunfire. Chief Robert Tracy says she has serious injuries to her spine. Detectives collected multiple shell casings and guns as evidence, including AR style rifle pistols, as well as a handgun, which they did find on a 17 year old boy who police took into custody as a person of interest. City leaders say this tragedy on Father's Day should have never happened. Mayor Tashara Jones saying during a news conference yesterday afternoon that downtown is not a 1 a.m. destination for your 15 year old. In response to this shooting, city leaders have announced new steps to give teens safe and fun places to hang out over the summer. They plan to expand weekend youth program hours at Wool and Marquette Recreation Centers. So on Friday and Saturday, programs will extend from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. for kids 15 and under and 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. for teens 16 and up. And these changes will last through August. Meantime, this deadly shooting is still very much under investigation and the police chief is urging anyone who knows anything to please come forward. You can call Crime Stoppers there at the number at the bottom of your screen and remember those tips can remain anonymous reporting live downtown on Washington Avenue this morning Laura Simon Fox 2 News.